Elektriliselt laetud kehade vahelist elektrostaatilist vastas mõju kirjelda, kui on seadus, mida esmakordselt uuris ja kirjeldas prantsuse füüsik Charles Agustin de Coulomb. Ja see seadus ütleb, et laetud osakeste vaheline jõud on võrdeline kumagi laenguga ning pöörd võrdeline nende vahelise kauguse ruuduga. See jõud on paraleelne laengud ühendava sirgega, sama märgiga laengud tõukuvad ning erineva märgiga laengud... I must admit this is boring. Let's do it another way. We'll take a boy and a girl. Trust me, it's simple and fun. And then we add some physics. What about me? What about you? Didn't you hear that light charges repel and opposites attract? Are you still sure about it? An attractive young lady, isn't she? And you don't know what to do. Today's youth. A true gentleman always starts smooth conversations. Introduce yourself for starters. Well, uh, my name is Rasmus and I live in a small nice country called Estonia, which... That is geographically situated in the Baltics, has allies in Europe, got its religion from Germany shares its past with Sweden, Denmark, Livonia and Russia. Well, and the weather could be described as truly Nordic. But did you know that the rare ancient cultures of Kunda and Puli found in Estonia were dated with the carbon dating method? That's fun, isn't it? I'm Laura, by the way, an exchange student from France, in case you wanted to ask. Lost for words again? Be creative. It's worth trying, isn't it? Sweep her off her feet. Promise her the sun and the moon. Ladies love astronomical objects, for sure. But did you know that once upon a time a shooting star struck Estonia? That was some bang. Oops, sorry. The bang was a bit too much, I'm afraid. The estimated mass of Kali meteorite was 1,000 tons and its speed when entering the Earth's atmosphere approximately half of the Earth's orbital speed. The kinetic energy of the meteorite is approximately equal to the explosive force of the nuclear bombs used in World War II. The same amount of energy was released in the form of an explosion during the impact. But what if it fell into the sea? Then there would be no crater or anything. Of course there would be one and it would have caused enormous waves as well. When hitting the water, the meteorite would have caused an absolutely gigantic wave. In the case of a very big meteorite, the tsunami could be 100 meters high and much more devastating than the one that hit Indonesia in 2004. A tsunami is actually a soliton, meaning a very stable shape, non-linear solitary wave that can be described by Korteveg de Vries equation. And interesting waves can be found when the strings of an instrument are played. as well as with organ pipes. There are so many beautiful medieval churches in Thailand. Even contemporary telecommunication is based on transmission of electromagnetic waves. Well, you obviously know Maxwell's equations. Nod. Be a good listener. Look interested. Pretend you understand. Optical waveguides for infrared waves are used in high bandwidth internet connections. Record speeds have been reached with solitons that can be best described with nonlinear Schrodinger's equation. Schrodinger's equation. Well, that didn't even come into my mind. Excuse me, what are you working on? Well, I'm trying to invent a formula that brings together friendship, wisdom and physics. That will help me to bring together young physicists from all over the world because in 2012, Estonia will host the International Physics Olympiad. It will be a very important event for our small country. Our capital city Tallinn, as well as the university city Tartu, will be glad to host young, talented physicists and their professors from all over the world to share jointly our passion for physics. 
What is this IPHO? Well, check out yourself. But did you know that even the movement of crowds can be explained as physics? A crowd of people or even a flock of birds can be viewed as a complex system where the simple interconnection of individual parts results in complex behavior. Self-organizing and correlates the movement of distant individuals. Oh my, how many interesting scientific articles have been written about it. Duh! Folk dance does not include any impulse momentum whatsoever. Well, well, guess who needs help now? I give you a hint. Boys like girls who make the first move. Did you know that lift force equals the wing surface area A and the dynamic pressure of one and a half rho V square? I think we should go and discover Estonia together. I must go to Tartu. It's the cradle of science, the home of education par excellence. Estonia is one of the smallest science countries in Europe. Take a look. If I manage to learn all this fast enough, I might even be accepted to IPHO. I told you already at the beginning that like charges repel each other. Unless they are close enough. Laura, I'm so glad I met you. Maybe we could study together and go to IPHO together. Rasmus, it's brilliant. We can go to IPHO together.